In these problems, we're trying to simplify algebraic expressions by canceling. And you know, canceling is that thing where if you have something on the top and something on the bottom, let's say you had uh, 7 times 3 on the top and you had 3 times 2 on the bottom, 3 on the top, 3 on the bottom, as long as these are multiplied, you know, on the top and bottom, you can just cross them out and this would equal 7 halves. So that's canceling, you probably remember that. We're going to try to apply that same idea to these algebraic expressions. In this first one, you can see a 3y on the top and a 3y on the bottom. We can't just cross those two out, though, because there's a second term up here. And if you cancel with something on the bottom, you have to cancel it with each thing on the top. And the second term doesn't look like it, look like it has a 3y. So what are we going to do? Well. This second term, 15y squared, actually does have a 3y inside it. And all we need to do is rewrite this. This is a multiplication problem. I can rewrite 15y squared. So here's my 3y to start with up here. And here's the 3y on the bottom. I can rewrite 15y squared as 3 times 5 times y times y. That really is the same thing. And now I have a 3y here that cancels with this, and I have a 3y here that cancels. Now we have to be a little bit careful because we canceled out this first term. It doesn't actually disappear. Canceling is really division. So 3y divided by 3y would leave a 1. So we're going to put a 1 up there. And so what I, and you could think about putting a 1 on the bottom. In this case, you know, anything over 1 is just itself, so we're not going to have a fraction anymore. But we're going to have 1 minus what's left over here, 1 minus 5 times y. And you know that's over 1, but it means 1 minus 5y is our answer. All right, let's try that same kind of thing with a slightly more complicated problem. So here we have 4x to the third, y to the sixth, z to the second, plus 6x to the fourth, y to the third, z, over 2x to the third, y to the third, z. The way to do this is simply to uh, work on the number and uh, first, and then the x's, and then the y's, and so forth, and cancel what you can uh, on the top and the bottom. Let's look at, actually, I'm going to rewrite this uh, a little bit bigger so we have some more room. So here's 4x cubed y to the sixth z squared plus 6x to the fourth y to the third z. And then our bottom term here, 2x to the third y to the third z. So let's see. First of all, let's look at the number. Uh, on the top, we have 4 and 6. And on the bottom, we have 2. Both of those are divisible by 2. So we can go ahead and cancel this 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. OK, so we've canceled the numbers. That left no number down there. Let's look at the x terms. So we have x to the third, x to the fourth, and an x to the third down here. So we can cancel that whole thing there. And this one, x to the fourth divided by x to the third, is just going to leave x. Let's go to the y terms. y to the sixth and y to the third. We got a y to the third on the bottom. So if we cancel here, y to the sixth divided by y to the third would leave y to the third. So those two things are multiplied by each other. And here, y to the third divided by y to the third, that just cancels. All right, now let's go to our z terms. We have a z squared here, a z, and we have a z on the bottom. So if we cancel here, that leaves one z on top. And we cancel here, that leaves no z's on top. So we've canceled everything on the bottom, which basically means the bottom becomes one. So if we wanted to rewrite this, we have two times y to the third times z plus three x over 1, or just that as our answer. So that is a little bit of work with canceling.